Hey everybody, as you may already know, we have a new game mode in Fortnite called Fortnite Festival. Uh, it's uh, very similar to Rock Band, and you might be wondering, could I use other controllers um, to uh, play this music? Something that's better than a keyboard, better than like an Xbox controller, and all of that. And uh, there are all kinds of ways to use like old Guitar Hero controllers, old Rock Band accessories, and all of that. But I am going to show you how you can use any MIDI controller, uh, be it a, uh, a keyboard like this, or uh, you might have um, like uh, one of those with a grid of buttons, or maybe like a drum pad. You can use any of those uh, on PC. All you need is uh, Fortnite on PC, of course, um, and this software that you see in the window right below me called MIDI Key to Key. And you get that software over here on midi key to key dot de um, you can do all kinds of awesome stuff with this um, you can set it up to do like obs macros and all that kind of thing uh, but today all we're concerned about is setting this up to use in fortnite festival all right so we are starting out with a brand new settings file here in midi key to key uh, and first you want to select the midi device that you want to use right now i am using my micro brutes and it has a usb connection if you do have a midi device that doesn't have a usb connection but has midi out um, you can get a uh a USB to MIDI cable. Um, they're fairly inexpensive as you can see um, in this quick search here. That way you can use any any MIDI equipment that you have. Um, okay, so we want our MIDI device selected, in this case my Micro Brute, and then I'm going to uh, click on Log to Window right here on the upper right and that will expand your window to uh, show the log of actions coming in from your MIDI device. And then you're going to uh, select Start to start listening. And as you can see, as I press any of the keys on the keyboard, it logs that there at the bottom. And this is the key to our success because I am going to press C4. One thing to note here is that you don't want to have too high of a velocity when you set it, maybe around like 25, 30 uh, is a good, uh, good spot for it because um, if it's too high, then you're going to have to press it that hard every time for it to activate the action. Um, so right here, I have a note on C4 velocity 28. That's perfect. And it pulls up the assign action window. And uh, the first tab by default uh, is generate PC keyboard action. So you want that to be active. And then on this blue bar, click on that and, and assign the key that you want. And Fortnite Festival, the default key bindings are D for lane, lane one, F for lane two, J for lane three, K for lane four, and L for lane five in expert mode. And then also space bar for the overdrive. So in this case, I'm going to assign my C4 key uh, to D on my computer keyboard. And then you also want to select wait for note off. Uh, so I'll continue to press that key as long as you're pressing the key on your MIDI controller. So you can go like that. That way you can do sustains and um, it will correctly uh, detect those key presses. Um, and then down here, you can name this action. I'm going to add just D key. It automatically just calls it what that uh, MIDI action was. Um, so you could change this entire thing, but I'm just going to add on to the end. And that'll make it easier to find it um, in the list 
of actions there. New action on 9030XX was successfully saved. Great. So in edit actions, we can now see that um, in the drop down menu there. So next, I'm going to press the D4 key. And perfect. It got velocity 30 there. I'm going to open that up. I'm going to sign that to lane two, which is by default the F key right there. Again, we're on generate PC keyboard action, active, sign that to F. If you mess it up, you can click clear right there. Again, wait for no off. We want that selected. And then I'm going to say uh, add on F key to that so I can identify it later. New action is saved. We see it in the window there. All right, now I'm going to go for the E key. We're going to call, we're going to assign this one to J for lane three in the default settings. We'll call it the J key. Same thing. We're going to assign that to the K key. Um, we're going with the L key and wait for node off course. And then I'll add that to the label that it's the L key. And then I kind of feel like the G sharp key is maybe the best one because um, I don't have um, any like uh, pad buttons or anything like that. And it's right there nice and close so I can hit it with uh, one of my other fingers um, to activate the overdrive. So I'm going to sign that to the G sharp and active. I'm going to make that the space bar. So I thought that the game was not detecting it because it was maybe anti-cheats, seeing it as macros or something like that. But it was, in fact, because I had keyboard delay set to zero because I didn't know what that meant. Um, whereas you want it to be wait for note off. So that keyboard delay is like how long it keeps the button pressed for. Um, Whereas if you set that to zero, then it will not be pressed for long enough for the game to detect it. So you want wait for no off anyway, so that you can do sustains on um, the instruments that use sustains. Great. So now when I play, it doesn't it doesn't tell you what um, key what action assignments it's doing, but it's, um, I'm going to leave this up on here so that you can see all the keyboard presses happening. Uh, so in your Fortnite settings, you double check that the key bindings match. Um, you go over to your keyboard controls and then down to main stage, easy, medium, and hard. And you can see a D, F, J, K for lane one, two, three, and four, and then spacebar for overdrive. Um, and then main stage expert, expert D and F for lane one and two still, lane three and four are still J, K, and then lane five is L. And then uh, that space bar for overdrive. So that's the default Fortnite settings. Of course, you can change this to whatever you want if you are just using your computer keyboard um, and uh, you're assigning everything it's, uh, uh, in MIDI key to key for how you're using your MIDI controller. Um, so it doesn't necessarily uh, matter what these uh, key bindings in Fortnite are set to as long as you match that to what you're doing in MIDI key to key. You could set like ready up and all that to other keys on your MIDI, MIDI controller. Um, but since I am here at my mouse and keyboards anyway, um, and there's no way to like do mouse movement with my MIDI controller, um, I, I, I'm only concerned with the in-game buttons working. And now I'm all set. I'm gonna be only gonna be using these four keys: C, D, E, F, and then G sharp for my overdrive. If I'm feeling confident enough to wander over there with one of my fingers there. But here we go. I always mess up the beginning of it. So we go. I am really bad at it. Let's choose an easy song. Playing bass, the bass track. One handed. Yeah. 
So yeah, it works really well. Um, I'm really happy that I finally got it working and hopefully this walkthrough gets you going with using your own MIDI controller. So you're not limited to just using a piano keyboards style device. You could use any MIDI device with this software uh, to, to control Fortnite Festival. It's awesome. So again, that website is midikey2key.de. It's free software. If you enjoy this experience, if you get a lot of use out of the software, uh, I strongly encourage you to find that donate link at the top of the site, and that'll take you down to the links for the Ko-Fi page and their paypal uh you know throw them throw them a few bucks give them a thanks because this is awesome if um you have any other tips and tricks with using the software and midi devices i absolutely want to hear about it thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye